Hello, I thought I'd share with you guys what I'm eating today. So, for breakfast, I'm eating this, probably half a papaya and about three or four ladyfinger bananas and maybe three or four kiwi fruits. And I'm also drinking this green juice with celery, kale, lettuce, chard, apple and uh, carrot. And I, I probably had this much of juice and then I filled it up this much of water and I've drunk this much. Okay, so that's breakfast. As part of my lunch, I'm going to make a salad. So for that, I'm just coming out to the garden. I'm going to pick some parsley. And some kale. Just need a few leaves. Because once I take a bit of everything, it all adds up. And I'm going to pick one of these leaves of this unusual chard. And I'll also get some dandelion leaf from here. Get two of those, like that. As well, from here, I'm going to take one of these beautiful chard leaves and some lettuce. Got a bit of lettuce from in here. Some lettuce leaves. And from here, I'm just going to pick a couple of dinosaur kale leaves as well. So I'm actually getting really hungry now. So what I'm going to do is prepare lunch. So what I'm going to do is get all these tomatoes and I'm going to put them in the blender, blend them up, and then pour them in the saucepan. And then I'm going to reduce, just, just have just pure tomato, going to reduce it down so it makes like a natural tomato sauce with nothing else added. And then I'm going to peel these potatoes. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to steam them, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them after that. And uh, so I'm going to have kind of hot baked chips with tomato sauce, and also a salad. And in the salad, I'm going to have all these greens that I picked before, and also these delicious homegrown carrots that I bought from the market, and some of these yummy, yummy tomatoes. Okay, so I'll just show you how I'm doing all this. So this, these tomatoes that I blended up just reduce down by themselves, just the water evaporates as they boil and makes a really thick, sweet tomato sauce. Like I said, I've got nothing else added in there and I'm just steaming the potatoes. Looks like they're boiling, but there's just a little bit of water in the bottom and they steam. Okay, so what I've done is I've just taken the steamed potatoes and I chopped up three cloves of garlic and I've just mixed the steamed potatoes and the garlic together and now I'm going to put these under the griller to brown the potatoes and cook the garlic a little bit, okay? And here's the salad from the garden vegetables and the carrot and tomato. And this tomato sauce is boiling down nicely, it needs a bit more time. Probably by the time the potatoes are finished under the griller, this tomato sauce will also be ready. Look at these two beautiful girls, aren't they cute? So there's the tomato sauce and I've just put the um, grilled potatoes on top of it and I'll just use those potatoes and just dip it into the sauce and eat like that and here's my salad and I may put a little bit of this tomato sauce into the salad to make it a saucy I'll just see how I go but I can easily eat this without any dressing because the tomatoes and the carrots add enough you know moisture okay so that's my lunch I'll see you for the next meal it's 3.30 now and I picked all this mint this morning. It's peppermint and just plain mint and I'm gonna now make a minty ice cream or minty nut banana and ice cream. And I've got, I think, seven Cavendish frozen bananas and I'll just put all this in the blender and add a little bit of water and blend it up. So there it is. Oh, this is so yummy with all that mint in it. And so I make it a little bit extra sometimes because Little Miss Piggy there, she likes banana ice cream. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you in a bit. Gotten a bit chilly after those seven banana frozen bananas I just ate. 
I didn't share any of that ice cream with Ash. I'm so naughty and greedy, but when you add the mint to the bananas, it just tastes so yummy. Like, I just don't want to share. So, you might get a big full tummy now. So, I'll see you again in a bit. Hello. It's 7 p.m. here tonight, and I got adrenaline pumping through my back veins because what happened this afternoon is about five o'clock I took my, my two dogs for a walk right and we've got our house and then we've got a spare block and then another spare block and then another house okay and so on the next house down from our house right there's this really vicious mongrel dog and it has broken two of my mum's dog's legs right on the same dog and then it's attacked one of my mum's other dogs around the neck and it attacked my Labrador around the neck. That's what it does oh, it, and it just it just goes full on, runs at and just goes full on attack. Hey, it's a bitch. Anyway, I wanted it to get put down, right? Because you don't know when it's going to attack a kid. But we had a slack council around here, but we did manage to force them to put up a fence through the council, so it was better than nothing, right? Anyway, they got a new puppy, and this new puppy, right, so, you know, the puppy and this vicious dog are friends, you know, because they live together, but this new puppy has taught the vicious dog to find the holes in their fence and get out of their yard, and, like, this afternoon, they, this vicious dog saw me and my dogs walking, like, two blocks away, right, runs to this place, hole in the fence, Goes straight under it and it can run, mate. It's a fast dog. It ran over, right, and got under the hole under the bloody fence like where we were walking in the spare block. And, oh, my God, I could see it going to come, eh? And I was screaming at it, hoping that would scare it away. No way, mate. Anyway, I picked up my Maltese Shih Tzu. And luckily, oh, my God, I got between that dog, right, and I had this, thank God I had this in my hand. And I fucking whacked it, eh? I got it, whacked it, and that was enough. Oh, so I was between me and my Labrador. My Labrador was behind me. And that was enough to, like, get it to retreat for a second, right? Next thing I'd turn around, try and get my Labrador to get, get away from it with me, and it'd come at us again, eh? And I'd have to be turn around and, like, fight with this thing again. And the bloody multi shit who was trying to get out of me arms... Like, that's the worst place, like, I'm the safest place those dogs could be, eh? Anyway, oh, my God, talk about traumatic. <sighs> Finally, the owner heard me screaming like a mad woman for help, and she came out and she called it back, and it went back. My God, anyway, and then this other stupid bloody puppy kept coming, but it wasn't vicious. It's not vicious yet, but I reckon it might treat the other one to get vicious. I hope not, you know, but anyway... So I came back here, tail, you know, in a hurry, eh? But so I'm a bit, bit stressed out after that terrible experience. Hey, there's nothing worse than a vicious dog, eh? And um, so all I'm going to have for dinner is this, because I don't really feel like eating now. And um, I'm still pretty full from those bananas, actually, that I had this afternoon. So. What I've got here is a half a litre of green juice and a half a litre of water. So it's like a litre of liquid. And I'm just going to drink that for dinner, eh? She'll be right with that, eh? So, yeah, I hope you don't mind me telling you about that story, eh? But that's how it goes. That's how it goes out here in the place for the wanted and the unwanted, mate. <laughs> oh, and everything happens out here anyway. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting what I, what I eat today and I'll see you later.